What's going on, brothers? It's not me tell you the name. Got a deal for you. It's your title. You're the chameleon. Part 8. Here goes. So, as you can see, as things are waxing worse and worse, a lot more of these uh, trollops are coming out of woodwork and all of a sudden telling the truth now. Mm hmm. One of the latest ones is saying that feminism is a scam. So let me get this right. After over 50 years of fraud, usury, sex specific abortions, using false allegations to run men out of college, run men out of uh, managerial roles, feminism is now a scam. No, 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 no. See, this is how desperate chameleons and broke feminists try to hide their hands. They pull this shit to try to remove accountability from themselves. When they say things like feminism is a scam, we fell for it, ladies. No, 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 no. They chose feminism. Mm hmm. They chose it. The machinery of the state and the crooked branches of humanity in the high place gave them a choice and they took it because they wanted to supplant men. Yep, they wanted to supplant men and then eventually do away with them. But now we fast forward to today. Lots of businesses that uh, sold wedding cakes and sold clothing for brides are out of business. The marriage rates are in the toilet and fertility is pretty much down. But now feminism is a scam, right? Right? Let me explain something to you. They will say to their audience that, femi that feminism is a scam, but what they're really looking for is a pet wallet. The men that they have been ignoring for most of their life aren't anywhere to be found. They're off to greener pastures. They're minding their own fucking business. They're not even looking in their direction. And... That's why you're never short of videos on TikTok or social media where these uh, blown out sperm toilets are asking, where are all the good men going? Or why aren't men approaching me in a nightclub or the bar? And because they don't have the gray matter and the pedigree to understand what's going on, I'm going to go ahead and say it since the feminists, the serial paint sniffers, and the gene pool polluters who worship twat are too afraid to say it, so this is what happened. You trollops got canceled. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. These trollops got canceled. And it happened around the same time when uh, hashtag Me Too grew into the plague that it is today. And men like Brett Kavanaugh Bill Cosby, a few others were being publicly assassinated, you know, politically and spiritually. You feminists started at witch hunt, and now today you're being canceled. The men that you want are. Nowhere to be found because they put their self-preservation first. And these principled men are also preparing for the worst. As you can see right now, the water level is still pretty low thanks to the drought. And of course, because of that drought... There have been crop failures, which means that the food shortage is going to get worse in September. But 
brothers with their soul, the principal men are preparing for that. But these feminists and these trollops, they have to convince you that they've changed their ways. They're hoping that you ease your heart, run back to the plantation, and allow them to drain your pockets and bleed you dry. Because that's what this is. That's what this is. It's parasitism. You see, they're strong and independent, and they don't need no man until there are no men in sight. Until they're in their 30s, 40s, have no money, can't pay their student loan debt, credit card debt, can't pay for food, can't pay for gas. Now, all of a sudden, feminism is a scam. No, 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 no. You see, Barbarossa summed this up real good many moons ago when he said this. Feminism did not ruin women. It explained them. Mm-hmm. It explained them. You see, right now here in the U.S., women outnumber men. So... The men who make six figures, the men who make seven figures, there's not enough to go around. And a lot of those guys, they're not willing to go dumpster diving for these trash bags and these 304s and put a ring on it. That's not what's going to happen. They're going to live out their lives doing what they do best. But only now, men worth their salt, the principal men who have decided to be bachelors, they're going to do the same thing while prepping and planning for what's ahead. You see, you know how in the scriptures, the prudent man sees wickedness and hides himself from it. But the person who is simple, you know, like a blue pill cook, one of these bitch made simps, one of these daughter fathers who Spends more time castigating men who refuse to get married instead of actually pulling his head out of his ass getting some sense. They fall victim to this wickedness. Mm-hmm. They fall victim to it. They can prattle on and on about where are all the good men going. You need to man up, you need to man up. Well, I gotta say this. When they tell you to man up, you man out. That's what you do. And since the situation is waxing worse and worse, you should operate with zero restraint and zero mercy when it comes to these trollops, these trash bags, these gene pool polluters, and these bitch-made simps who helped these feminists to vilify you, demonize you, and chase you out of the workforce and out of college. Give them nothing. Hell, you know the acronym, HDPD, Host Denies Parasite Dies. This is the year of the chameleon. And the desperation of these 304s, these dried out hags, and these trollops is evident. It's evident. And I can't feel sorry for them because they did it to themselves. They got what they wanted. They weaponized Title IX to get men out of sports. They weaponized false allegations to get men out of certain positions and managerial roles. They created a witch hunt to destroy men's lives for their own sick amusement. And make no mistake, it was all on purpose. Hence the words of Emily Linden. It doesn't matter if a few innocent men's lives are ruined, all it matters is this match of the patriarchy. Or the words of Linda Gordon who said, the nuclear family must be destroyed. Hence all of the abortions, all the six specific abortions, and why women outnumber men in the West. Who's going to fix the vehicles? Who's going to build the houses? Who's going to keep up the power grid? Who's going to defend the country? Who's going to enforce the law? Not the men. Y'all chased them away.
Y'all chase them off. And I'm going to say this. I mean, it's going to get dark, but I'm going to say it like this. When this daughter of Babylon... Hold on, let me explain something to you. When this daughter of Babylon and the rest of this world is immersed in World War III, all of the principled men, all of the men who are worth a damn, they'll be nowhere to be found. And all that will be left will be the absolute worst of humanity. These are your marauders, your killers, your thieves, your bad boys that y'all fucked throughout your youth. That's all that's going to be left, and they're going to do exactly what they do to survive. It will be terrible. Mm-hmm. I hope you brothers are preparing for it, because I'm still preparing for it. I'm keeping my faith. This is the year of the chameleon. And you brothers owe it to yourself to stay safe, stay vigilant these perilous times. Mm-hmm. This is Lionel McTale. That's all I got for this video, brothers. Like the video, like, share, comment here. If you want to subscribe, if you want to donate, visit my channel. You can find a tip jar in the upper right hand side of the screen. That's the G Plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know the drill. You know routine. Go away, little boy. S Y S P M. As for these ditch pigs, as for these desperate chameleons, and those lead pipe children who have a problem with what we say, how we say it. Give them nothing. This is Mctel PSA. More to come tight. See you soon.